How do? I'm in the workshop and I'm uh, making some bits for the amplifier. So I'm just rolling some new valve mounting brackets. So here we are, I've got a bit of aluminium. I'm just uh, about to shape these up. So I'll bring a little bit of tension on the back of the roller and uh, we'll get the circular shape as required by rolling them by hand. And these are hopefully, will clamp around the uh, ceramic valves within the amplifier. So we're just making a tray for it and uh, I'm going to weld these on so we'll get a good connection obviously with a weld so it's a case of taking your time as we form them up it's going okay we have got powered rollers but right now I'm using manual just taking it nice and slow and we'll see what that looks like so yeah that's a full circle completely rolled hopefully it's the right kind of diameter that I'm after I'll better open them out easily enough so once you've done that it's a case of slackening off the uh, tension of the roller which is gripping them so I'll do that by loosening a handle on the side here and then I'm just going to slide this roller out you're wondering how I'm going to get it off so what happens is then this set of rolls will then drop down release the tension and the end shaft pulls out and my uh, my job comes off like that so that, that's one there's two so we've got two clamps ready to work on so that's the situation so far so this is the stage of the next situation we're just gonna TIG weld this bottom plate on here which will give the perfect clearance and then these valve holders will go on top like that that's the state of play so far this is the next stage this is the actual um, base for the new valves so it's made out of aluminium I'm just uh, using a hole cutter to uh, cut out the correct diameter for the ceramic valve to drop in and the clearance will be quite sufficient the connections will take place underneath so this is the next stage of the new modifications we've got the uh, next stage drilled out now so this is the like I say the Martin plate so these are going to get welded in position it's a bit warm that and then the, the uh, valve will drop in nice snug fit like that that's the clamp obviously that's going to be welded on there just got to get that right at height and hopefully that will be reasonably sufficient like that I may have to make some looking at that I may have to make some slightly wider rings so that's a some of them I've just already looked at I don't think the clearance is going to be sufficient in the bottom you can see that I'll just spin that around so the clearance is going to be a little bit tight on that one so if that's fully home that wants to be um, probably sitting about there so that's the extra I'm going to work on now. So it's all trial and error when you're making stuff. But that's the, the bit that we like. I'm going to cut the uh, plate size now of the uh, ceramic valve housing bracket. So I'm using the bandsaw. So I've got it set up in the vise. I'm going to use the bandsaw much quicker. A lot neater, a lot squarer. Cutting a piece off at 200 millimeters, and that's the uh, size I want to fit into the unit. Once I've got this cut, we'll weld the sleeves in, and that's it, more or less completed. This stage of the uh, amplifier upgrade, live from the workshop. So I've got the finished product looking okay actually, I've managed to mount the valve in it so this is the end result and the valve's a good solid tight fit so this is the plate so it's going to go over it's going to sink into the bottom of the amplifier and then I've got I've just nicked it, this is where the cables are going to come through with the uh, anode and cathode connecting cables and then that will all connect in the underside of this channel so as the valve pops through as you can see it coming through there with a good 
snug interference fit, perfect. I'll better slide the clamps onto the internal anode connector and the cathode. Uh, I'm have to just work it out so that it, it's bent a little bit and doesn't short circuit. So I've got a little bit of um, fettling to do when I put this into the casing later. Drill four holes so I can mount that and obviously put another valve in, cool, cooling fin, and then uh, it's pretty much ready to mount in and connect up. And then we'll be working on the uh, fan side of it next. So I've got some pretty good progress today and uh, my favourite part of the job, a bit of metal working. So this is all being made out of aluminium, so nice and light and a good conductor of heat. So I've made it back home in one piece and uh, yeah, busy day today, uh, very very busy. Managed to get the uh, little job in it between a lot of uh, apprentices finishing off their endpoint assessments. So it was uh, quite nice timing. Whilst they were welding, I were doing a bit of fabricating and then I had to uh, help them um, test the welds. But anyway, that's another story. So did it work? Did we manage to be successful with our new designed layout of the valves uh, and uh, hopefully It'll be uh, a good fit, if you're wondering. And let's have a quick look now and see. So the iron's been out. I had to uh, detach the um, the decoupling capacitor from the anode choke. So the iron's been out for that. So that's where I desoldered it. So yeah, you're getting a quick sneak preview. So this is the result. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It, it fits in there pretty flawlessly. Just got a slight little bit of filing to do at the ends to get the sides back on which I'm going to probably make out of some more aluminium or copper even. I've got some copper sheet, which uh, I reckon that would be pretty good. So I'm going to stick two copper sides on probably, or aluminium, uh, whichever's going to be the better of the two. So as you can see, the, the valves are now mounted in there with a new uh, base grid mounted housing unit, which obviously you saw me making there. So I'm pretty pleased with the result. I'll just whip the side off of that. And let you have a, a look so that's the situation it's fitting in there perfectly and uh obviously there's the mounting system so all i've got to do now is bolt it to the chassis and then i'll get the uh the grid um connection that i'm after and uh yeah pretty cool so far so good so there's the decoupling cap that i had to desold though connect that back up but i'm really pleased with that so that is the result and uh i'll just whip it on its side and let you have a look so I'm just holding that in place at the moment by hand because I've not bolted it in yet. But as you can see, I've got access points. I'm going to put a cover on the bottom of this, obviously, to stop any uh, unwanted uh, accidental touchings. But right now you can see how, the, how it works. So I've got the connection. I've got to do a bit of work on that um, top connector. I've just got a couple of copper rings to change it over uh, to have a similar kind of connection of the bottom pin there, which as you can see, so it's working out pretty good so far quite happy with with how it's working so next job is to mark up the bottom so i can put some bolts in fix that in in position i might even tap a thread on the base plate Just move around that away and uh i'll be able to bolt that in so that's the uh, result as how, how it has it has gone so far and you can you can just see down the view down there all the uh the setup is so that should be fine Looking quite good at that. I can always uh, put a couple of strips under the base of this if I have to pack it up to uh, change the height or, or anything like that, which can play around with that. So obviously early stages and uh, yeah, pretty pleased with the results. And you can see a fan. I've got a fan, obviously, that's going to mount uh, above the, um, the, the setup on the top of the case. But I've just purchased some new fans. So yeah, I'll just show you the fans. So yeah, I picked up uh, these replacements as recommended by uh, Easy, who was one of the uh, uh, VK operators who follows us on YouTube. So thanks, bro. And uh, yeah, you told me to go for these. Uh, these ones they weren't over expensive, actually, cheap enough. Uh, some um, Noctua and they're a, uh, I think they're made in Austria, but apparently they're very uh, quiet. So that was the idea, because obviously the, the mounting of the fans is going to be at the top. I don't want them too loud, you see. But they're supposed to be extremely powerful. So they, these little units will both, there's two of them, will both be connected on the top of the uh, unit to cool the valves when they arrive. So as you can see, it's going okay so far. So that's a quick update. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll be making the 
uh, fan cooling unit next and that's going to sit on top i'll probably make a, a new top panel possibly but for now i might just uh, make a little housing and stick it on the existing panel just to uh, see how it all performs so catch up with you on the next update and thanks for uh, all the tips just looking for a, a one um milliamp ammeter uh one of the uh, vintage ones um ex-military to replace my damaged one so i'm going to keep an eye out if anyone knows of any drop us a comment and uh, thanks also for the comment that's already been left I'll, I'll chase up that lead take care and see you soon m0yks